Hey there, this is Sean. This is a quick video to list some of the optimizations that I've put together in a list for setting up a VR scene and also setting up your level so that it auto launches in VR when you are kicking out your executable. So here we go. Under settings, project settings. Um, just in the description section, when you are setting your game up to publish, you can check this start in VR button. And then the rest are mostly in rendering. So you, you want to make sure that you've got uh, your MSAA turned on for uh, anti-aliasing. And then also make sure you turn off auto exposure. Uh, the other one is the experimental feature for forward rendering in the shading. So turning off the uh, forward shading. So you just type in forward shading, turn that on. Now, then it's going to ask you to um, reboot your whole level. And then um, I don't have a, a lot of complicated shaders, but it was it was quite... It almost looked like my level was hanging for a while, but it was actually just crunching. Um, it's just crunching and recompiling. And then when it actually launched, then it actually recompiled all the shaders as well. So I just wanted to like let anybody uh, know who's doing that, that just, just wait it out depending on your machine. It might take a little bit of while. So, okay, I guess for the last few things here, I'll just pull up my checklist. Let me double check that I got everything. Okay, so uh, turn off auto exposure, MSAA, forward shading. Um, essentially, the forward render, it just calculates the lights differently. And there's different videos that I've seen um, up that have been put out by Epic that go more into detail. Um, additionally, there's two docs that I'll, I'll just uh, post links at the bottom of this video that you can read. And hopefully when things get updated, you can we can all... Uh, read these. So this one is the uh, um, VR best practices doc. So you can scroll down. You can also read about um, the dithered, um, dithered temporal aliasing function for transparent objects that you can um, also do. And then the other one is uh, talking about the, uh, uh, the forward rendering and what that does, and the impact as well. All right, finally, one last item. I'm going to copy and paste these vr.ini settings and paste them into my own default engine.ini file under system settings. So here, default engine.ini, double click that open, pull that over in the notepad. I just pasted it right at the bottom. So I'm going to see if that has significant impact. And I'd be very happy to hear from anybody in the community if they've got additional settings that they would like to share for VR optimization. All right, wonderful. Thanks so much for watching.